Facebook's fight against misinformation continues ahead of the election. Companies said it will not accept ads that delegitimize the results of the 2020 election. Ines Ferre is back here with the details. Ines? And Brian, uh, this came through a tweet from Facebook's product manager, Rob Leithern, and he talked about in the tweet the ads that Facebook will not be accepting, these ads that delegitimize the results of the 2020 elections or that speculate that voting will lead to illegitimate outcomes. So ads that claim, for example, of widespread voter fraud or saying that certain types of voting like mail-in ballots will lead to fraudulent results, those are not permitted. Now, this policy is for ads. It doesn't pertain for uh, to organic content, comments from users. But Mark Zuckerberg in early September put a long post on Facebook about rules and revisions to post regarding the elections. He wrote that if any candidate or campaign tries to declare victory before the results are in, Facebook will put a label on that post that the results are not yet in. Also, Facebook will be reducing the risk of misinformation and harmful content going viral by limiting the forwarding on Messenger. So you'll still be able to share information, but you will only have a limited amount of people that you can share it with at a time through Messenger. Facebook says that they have already implemented this feature in WhatsApp during some periods, and they found it to be a very effective way of limiting misinformation from going viral. Brian. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.